everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. As we head towards kickoff, two quarterbacks will be on the field today trying to push their team to victory. It's Manning's Giants going up against Roethlisberger's Steelers. So with kickoff approaching, let's send it over to our commentators here this afternoon, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Right at the convergence of the three rivers on Art Rooney Drive, we welcome you to Heinz Field in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the New York Giants and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Hi again, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And you know, Charles, as Larry pointed out in the open, got a couple of great quarterbacks set to square off here this afternoon. That ball's probably going to be flying all over the place, isn't it? Oh, without a doubt. And the game has never been more quarterback-centric than it is now. And both of these teams have top-flight signal callers. Set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And with towels waving, we're underway from Heinz Field. On the return, here's Justin Gilbert. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20. Call it the 21-yard line. And here come the Pittsburgh Steelers, fresh off a win on Thanksgiving in Week 12 over Indianapolis. Big Ben threw three touchdown passes. Last three games against the Colts, 13 TDs, no interceptions. Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> Excellent. I mean, something. <laughs> when he sees the Colts, I mean, he just lights up in a big smile, and his confidence level goes to absolutely new heights. But what he did in this last ball game set the tone for his team right here. He got them back to that great start, came out of the gate fast, and then carried them home. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on in its second down. On your screen now, here are the offensive starters. At wideout, Antonio Brown is certainly someone that the defense always has to account for. Without a doubt, a true number one receiver. It doesn't matter to him how defenses want to cover him. He sees it as a challenge and knows how to defeat him. Now the first carry for Le'Veon Bell. So a good spin move, but not a whole lot to show after as he's taken down. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. And we look now at the defense for the Giants. Landon Collins is built like your typical tackle first safety, but he does have the ability to play the deep part of the field. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. On third down, Roethlisberger. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And they are going to set up sharp at the 40-yard line. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive. First interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. Here's the former seventh round pick, Rashad Jennings. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it will be second down. The defense will not play so fast that I think if the running back even had time to notice if anyone was there, it was just a blink of an eye, and there was a loss on the play. Manning to throw on second down. And here the hookup good to Victor Cruz. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and it'll be third down. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots 
and powered forward to get the first down. They run again with Jennings. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. And frankly, Brandon, we're talking about things I'm not sure we ever thought we'd talk about in the NFL. And a lot of that is the speed at the linebacker position. A lot of these guys in college, they were safeties. They moved them up to outside linebacker to combat the spread offenses. And now we're seeing it in the NFL, those same guys using their speed to make plays in the backfield, similar to that one. Yeah, it looks like a pickup of six. That leaves them with seven yards to go on third down. And the defense with their backs against the wall a little bit here as the offense is in the red zone. They've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Robbie Gold on now to try the field goal. From the left hash mark, this a 43-yard attempt. And Gold is able to put it through. And the Giants are off now to a 3-0 lead. So our initial drive here this afternoon results in three. I'm not sure that was a statement necessarily, but getting points on the road, never a bad thing. No question about it, Brandon. You had a crowd that was all fired up during pregame introductions, yet you're able to quiet them just a little bit by taking the early lead. As the Steelers trot back out for offense, Charles wanted to ask you about the AFC North. They're tied with the Ravens through 12 weeks at six and five. But just because of the kind of the mystique of the Steelers, you get the sense that this is their division to win. The mystique and Big Ben at quarterback. Because I think that when you really analyze it going down the stretch, people I talk to around the league, they all still feel that the Steelers at the end of the year will be atop of the AFC North because Big Ben provides the edge that they need. On second down, it's Bell. Only a gain of a yard there, but it indeed gets him a new set of downs. Le'Veon had 120 yards and a touchdown on Thanksgiving. He's really coming alive the last two weeks, Charles. 146 against the Browns, and as I said, 120 on Turkey Day. And I loved his mindset going into the game because after what he did against Cleveland with the 146 yards rushing, Many were saying, hey, how do you come back on such a short week and think about having a big game again? He's like, I'm always ready to play. I can't wait to get out there on Thursday, and this will have no effect on my performance going forward. He was exactly right. Marcus Wheaton was the one he was looking for. That'll bring up second down. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. Well, he just threw an interception last drive, nearly another pick. And things aren't very even right now, are they? It's a little bit sloppy out there, isn't it? It's kind of just been driving on those paved roads and those country roads that have those potholes in them, isn't it? Because that's the way this game's going right now. A lot of bouncy bounce to it. You spent some time on some Tennessee country roads. I certainly have. Plenty of family back there. God love them. Here's Roethlisberger to throw. He gets it to Brown. Good play. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. And fits the exact right word. Over the middle, there's almost always traffic. So anytime you're a receiver in that area, you're not just focused on catching the football. You're wondering where the collision's going to come from, right? Because there's almost always someone there able to concentrate, catch it, and even add a little extra to the end with a short run. This presentation of the NFL on EA Sports is brought to you by Snickers. You're off your game when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies.